Macarera University offers a training program for farmers who want to learn how to breed insects for livestock feed. Instructor Joan Nakayemba says the process is simple and there's growing interest in insect breeding. She's led classes for five years for students who come from all over the country. Many have gone on to start their own insect breeding ventures to give farmers a cheaper alternative to feeds like fish meal. The purpose of this project is to replace or substitute fish meal. Because what fish meal is providing, that's protein, is what we are intending to be substituting, not maize bland. Maize bland will st still stay in the same portion because it, it, provides, it provides something else, which is energy, carbohydrates, and calcium, what, what will still stay in the same proportion. This fly A single black soldier fly eggs. can lay between 500 and 1,500 eggs. After four to five days, the eggs will hatch into protein-rich larvae known as maggots, which will feed on the beds of decomposing organic waste. Just all flies, they will never lay their eggs on bare ground. Mm, they have to lay somewhere. They, they are sure that the moment my young ones come out, it will have food to, f it will have food to feed on. So that's the, the reason why I put these cardboards in, a, in rotting matter to entice this fly to come and lay eggs. Dead or live maggots can be fed to a variety of livestock, from chickens to pigs to fish. Dr. Emma Naluyima is a graduate of Makarere's insect breeding training program. She feeds her catfish, maggots, and earthworms, and says it's helped reduce her cost for animal feed by about three quarters. Our target weight for the fish is one kilo in six months. But surprisingly, when we feed the maggots and the earthworms to the fish, in four months, we have a kilo. So we've reduced our cost of production in terms of money and even in terms of time. So we reach market weight very early. In addition to providing a cheaper and more sustainable protein source for farmers, a UN report suggests insect breeding can benefit the poorest and most vulnerable members of society. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.